everyone, this is Brittany Bond and welcome back to the podcast. Today I am trying something new where I have music playing along with my podcast. Verde has been doing this in his and I really enjoy it. So, and it seems like a lot of you really enjoy it. <coughs> I know that for me when I'm playing music I am in my happiest place. Um, I don't know if a lot of you know but I grew up singing and playing drums, jazz jazz played in jazz bands uh, so music for me are very good friends the vibration of sound <coughs> is probably the biggest one for me so today I am excited to chat with you guys about you know just everything <laughs> as we do um, but especially and especially about what's it's it's feeling very important for me. I'm like getting channeled this a lot in my meditations that we really need to focus on the reality that we actually choose to create. So this is um, honoring the consensus reality is what we call it. So like honoring, yes, there is a mass consciousness reality that we're all choosing to buy into and agree to by being born here during this timeline. And that's beautiful. So our souls actually chose for us to be here during this very exciting, turbulent, crazy time. Whatever the words you want to put to it, they're all there. Uh, and I honor all of them. It is, um, you know, from what I've been through my meditations, what I've been channeling is that there's so many souls who are trying to be born into the timeline right now. Like, that because they want to say that they were alive during this very transformational age. And then through reading Dolores Cannon and some other channels who talk to us um, through deep states of hypnosis and meditation, they talk to our souls. And the consensus reality that I'm picking up on is that before you come in, when you're in spirit and you're very excited to come down, you're like, I, I'm going to make a difference. I, I can feel that I'm here for the big mission to ra raise the collective vibration. And then when you come down, <laughs> you forget a lot of things. Uh, more and more of us are choosing to remember even from birth. Um, but even if you remember, like me, who I remembered a lot of things from childhood, I didn't forget who I was. I didn't forget why I came here it is still so fucking hard to deal with the vibrations and the consensus reality as it currently is and what's happening in mass consciousness and what people are choosing to do with their free will, right? And for those of us that I would call as starseeds, uh, light workers, whatever resonates with you, those of us who know that we came here to help guide humanity to the direction that we are choosing right now through our vibration through being who we are in the timeline um, through seeing all of the pain and all of the all of the sadness and all of the war and all of this and still choosing to be grounded in ourselves still choosing to show unconditional love to every creature human and being that is here on this planet um, right now and to emit this light and to shine your light because this is what we need it's very important that we know <laughs> and we honor that it is a lot harder than we expected it to be before we came into the timeline and also that we wouldn't come down here unless we knew that we actually could make a difference unless we knew that we actually had the tools and the connection to each other and just the sheer will of our soul and the strength of who we are on a soul level. So only part of you are actually here in the timeline physically. Your soul is so is eternal and is so much bigger than this. And the more that you can slow down and meditate and do whatever and meditation doesn't need to be sitting meditation can be movement it can be but it's it's whatever permission slip you have to connect to the bigger part of yourself that is not currently focused here in this timeline because the more that you do that i will tell you it gets so much easier to be grounded it gets so much easier to understand it gets so much easier to shine your light of unconditional love 
because you understand the bigger scope of things and you have more strength and you have, I really feel that most of the world is in pain right now because they're choosing over and over <coughs> disconnection. Dis disconnection from themselves, from s their own source connections, from the earth. And the farther the way that we get from disconnection, the more sad we get, the more angry we get because it is a human right to be connected. <laughs> It is a human right to feel pleasure. Pleasure is connection. Pleasure is feeling at home in your body, feeling at home with each other, feeling at home on this earth. And many of us, myself included, have I've had moments where I was just like, I don't feel at home here in this place on this planet. But a lot of it was because I didn't have enough tools I hadn't built enough of a practice of keeping my connection strong to source and 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 really holding my vibe. You have to shine your vibration out in order for other people to find you. And it was very scary for me for a long time because being a starseed who was very awake since I was born, <laughs> I have gone through a lot of kind of the best way I can imagine is like just someone just smacking you up upside the head like just like me, me shining my light and someone just like no don't do that don't shine your light you know and so I had this imprinting in me for most of my life where you know make sure it's safe to shine your light make sure you don't hurt anyone else by outshining other people but me shining my light in my full glory is gonna outshine most of the world most of the humans in the world but the intention of me coming here as a soul is not to overshadow other people. It is to empower others so that they can feel that they have a connection to their source, to activate and ignite them to go on their spiritual path, to find their connection and realize that they have such a strong connection already. It's always there. So... For me, it has been such a journey of finding my way of feeling safe in the timeline and in my body in order to shine my light. And when I did this, I realized, wow, there's so many more of us here. <laughs> we're all just hiding. And now we're coming out of hiding and it's feeling really exciting. And I invite you, I really invite you to to start sharing more and more in whatever ways you feel safe and comfortable. This can be with your friends, your family, on social media. It can be anonymously. It can be with your face to the camera like I am right now. Um, about the, this is, this is the activation I'm here to share with you today. And I feel it's really important. So I hope that you're able to really receive this. That it's so important for us to talk about the timeline and the earth and the beingness and the vibration that we choose that we are on a soul level and that we are here to activate the collective that they have a choice to rise up to and Faraday and I call it home stories so the way that we do this is we will I, I it's whenever we can remember but I try and do it daily if I can remember We'll take time where we say, okay, let's talk about some home stories. And Faraday is really good at this. Like I can do it. I like to do it a lot in my journal privately. Like not that he doesn't want to hear mine, but he, <laughs> if you know him, he's just very good at this. Um, and then so I, what I usually, what I have also realized, I don't know if this is a masculine and a feminine thing, but like he's very good at like, I think he's just a very visual person and I'm more of a, I, when I listen to something, I can I can create it and manifest it. I, this is just some intuitive things that I'm realizing. It's like when he shares these homes, I'll explain what they are in a second. When he shares them, I put my manifesting energy to creating them. And I really like add my energy to it. And the thing is, is the more of us that do this, the more of us that our energy focuses on this reality and we move in that direction collectively. So it is so important. Like when you're looking at the news, when you're, I really don't recommend looking at the news, but if you do, or if you look at social media where it's sharing about like the war and things that are happening, 
This is having you focus your energy in a direction of a timeline that you probably don't prefer. And I'm not, again, saying that we need to act like these things don't exist. I'm saying create energy focused on also the things and probably more energy, I would invite you to focus on the reality that you actually prefer. If you are spending all day long looking at the news or social media that is sharing about the fear and the war and the hate that is the vibration that is a big part of the timeline right now, a lot of this is activating people of which is of of creating a choice. Which reality do they actually prefer? Do they want to stay in the fear? Do they want to go more into the separation? Or do they want to say, no, I I don't, I don't prefer this. I want to go into the unconditional love. I choose to be more connected. I choose to create a different reality. And so what we do with these home stories is, um, I'll just like put a timer on sometimes when we first started. Now we don't really need a timer, but Uh, We'll usually spend like 10 or 15 minutes where we just, we talk as if this reality already exists. So this is very important to talk in the present moment. And this is why for some of you, it might be easier to start doing this in your journals. This is how I've manifested most things in my life where I just put like, okay, home stories or manifesting gives me permission to write in my journal. This is happening already. And I get really excited about it. So I'm going to go into some home stories right now. So again, I'm setting this up. I'm giving myself full permission to act like this ar- this reality already exists, that we're already in this timeline. And I invite you, the beautiful soul who is listening to this or watching this, to put your energy into also manifesting this if this is something that if this is something that resonates with you, to also focus your energy and in your mind's eye, do as much as you can to visualize and to feel as if you're already in this reality. Okay, so let's go. Um, <laughs> it's so it's so like vulnerable to do because it's something I care about so much. Um, so I'm I'm so excited. I'm so happy that we have. I'll talk about our island here on Copanyang. The island is fully is full with all of the people who have awakened and are choosing to be in connection with themselves and with each other and with the locals here on the island and with with nature and we all are one big tribe and we all look out for each other and I love that We got the the organic vegetable garden going again that we had during COVID and and like we're all in it together. Like everyone chooses shifts that we are growing things and everyone's sharing and everyone is like using their skill set to build for each other. It's a collective movement of sustainability and in union with nature like being in symbiosis with nature and we have the technology here I love calling it future tech that is what I love to call um, a tech jungle yeah I've already talked about this with a lot of my friends where when you look at a house it's like it looks like it's just already the jungle because the house is so integrated with nature and it also has everything that you would ever need to feel comfortable and and we the the water here is so fresh like when i go to the waterfall i just drink the water out of the waterfall and i thank the waterfall and i thank nature for being so abundant and that it's so clean and it holds all of the activation within the water that will activate my DNA so that I remember more and more every day why I'm here and who I'm meant to be in this timeline and how to live my most epic life here. And I just feel so connected to all of my friends. I feel so connected to the people that I love dearly and also my outer community and I feel so excited finally finally I feel so safe to bring a baby into this beautiful world because it's just so perfect and we're always growing and all the challenges that we go through 
it feels exciting because we're doing them together like we're we're going through them as a tribe together and my dog afro is like so excited and she runs around all the time with all her her friends and all the dogs are really nice to her and she can feel safe to play with all of them and and we really just shine this like beacon of light for the whole world of like this is how you can actually choose to be and this is how you can live and we're sharing all of this on social media and so many people are excited to build their own around the world and we're giving them all the manuals and tutorials and it's just like this explosion of positive ecosystem and eco villages building all over the world and some people call them eco villages some people call them farmsteads whatever vibration feels for them and they acclimate it to their culture and to their like what they can grow in their place but it's basically organic food organic like fresh water clean water and a really beautiful symbiosis with the nature and the land and the locals and everyone is in it together and we know that we're all connected and that we all are one and no one is and everyone is being nice to the animals and they're our friends i'm saying it all in the positive and we choose to get all of our nutrients from the earth and we know that the earth is giving us everything that we need and we can just have friends as our animal <laughs> or animals as our friends and they know this they can feel the vibration and they can feel that we don't eat them anymore and so they're like so excited to come hang out with us and we communicate with them we learn ways to communicate with them more directly through uh, t telepathy I think is what it's called and it's so exciting and and then like yeah there's just like s I have so much excitement to wake up every single day because I realize wow we are finally getting it as a collective and now is the time to rebuild now is the time to create this beautiful earth that we've all felt in our dreams and our souls and we know is possible and we are actually creating it every single day we are nourishing nature we are connected to each other we are as a worldwide collective moving forward together and facing everything together as one big tribe with the baseline emotion of unconditional love for each other and for the earth and for the animals and for whatever beings are coming to visit us and help us and give us their technology so that we can keep expanding and we can keep growing our consciousness in a way that feels so good and so yummy in our bodies Whew. so yeah that's home stories if you get a home story from faraday he will go very galactic intergalactic <laughs> very fast with aliens and timelines i was giving you one that i feel is more grounded because i also i believe all of them and all possible timelines that we focus our energy on are beautiful and and possible um it's just the ones that we the ones what what is the ones that your heart is craving for the most right now like for me it is this this community this tribe that everyone gets it and we're all just we're working towards it together like towards building this beautiful earth together and we all feel safe and we all feel yummy and we feel like yummy in our bodies and we feel connected and we're just we're just doing it together we're living where we are vibing we are in just this deep symbiosis symbiosis is where everything is balanced everyone is having everyone's in best interest at heart and we're talking also about the earth you know so when you're in this collective symbiosis of like unity like this is what our souls are really craving and it is possible and it is happening and the more that we put our energy towards it the more that it happens faster or the more that we shift to that timeline because time doesn't really exist we are creating that also in the space time which is something else i'll go into at a different time i don't want to explode your brains 
Um, but one thing I want to slow down right now and invite you to notice how you feel in your body right now. I feel very like I'm vibrationally like very high vibration like I was imagining I was closing my eyes and matching everything that I was speaking right there and I could really feel it and I could feel it in my body and I was like I was getting very excited and also very emotional because um, it makes me so happy um, and notice the shift that you felt like before you must start listening to this podcast in the beginning of the podcast and then now after we focused our energy on these home stories because yes home is a place that um like we know on a soul level that we are so much bigger than our, what we're focusing on here in this timeline and also i like to call it our earth base like we 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 chose for this time period that we are here on this earth to have a home here and so let's put our energy into making it something really beautiful and let's make it a statement for the whole collective that we can live like this that there's enough of us who are shifting in this direction and we are choosing to be in unconditional love and in connection and symbiosis with each other and the earth like if we're gonna go for it let's go for it all the way this is why I love saying we need, I want to take a deep breath before I say it. It is each of us that we each of us have the choice to commit fully to our timeline. What does that mean? I have spent a lot of my life frozen because I could see where the world was going and it made me so sad that I didn't do anything. I just was or I didn't do the thing that I actually knew I was meant to do. Like I went into law, I went into business development, I was playing the 3D game. In reality, even then, my soul was whispering, Brittany, you know you're meant to do this other thing, which is lead the collective, which is to shine your light and to be an awakened soul in the timeline and let people know it's okay to also be awakened. It's okay to feel these things. It's okay to create a new reality. Let's just create our new reality. Let's just put our energy into this. Yes, this is very vulnerable. Yes, because we care so much and we love this vibration so much and it is so precious to us and it's also so vulnerable because we live in a reality that is doing everything to not support this. Which also, if you want to look at it from Faraday's perspective, is very exciting. <laughs> it's very funny to see like the masculine and the feminine versions of these realities because my feminine version is like, it's not safe. I don't feel good. I want to feel safe and to be able to feel my emotions all the way. And Faraday's like, where is the where, where is the the fight I, i'm excited to like fight for the mission and how exciting and i'm like can we stop fighting <laughs> can we just build our beautiful home and our beautiful village and our tribe and so i feel like it's both i feel like we need both of these energies and i have so much energy to quote unquote fight but I feel like the best way for us to fight is actually to be grounded right now and to choose unconditional love and to act with everything we do with this energy and the best way for you, us to quote unquote fight is not to focus on the negative things because we're giving them more energy and we're actually distracting ourselves but the best way to fight is to is to do a social media cleanse and actually take away the energy that is clouding you and distracting you from whatever your soul mission is, whatever your higher self is actually channeling to you right now. That is your piece of the puzzle that will help us to build this new earth vibration, this heaven on earth, because it is a, a complete possible reality that I believe is the most probable for my timeline. If you want to come in on that, 
I welcome you with open arms. And I know that you have a very specific skill set, a very specific puzzle piece that you're meant to fit into this new reality. You matter and you are meant to be here right now, but you have to choose to show up. You have to do the inner work to integrate yourself, to integrate the shadow and the light because we have to have both. I've spent most of my life running away from my shadows because I was worried as a star seed that this was going to make me not qualified for my mission. <laughs> you know, like, oh, this means I'm actually part of the problem. No, no, no. Having things that you need to integrate, trauma, negative aspects of yourselves, this is you choosing the human experience. Everyone who came down has to go through this. It is your job to be fully integrated, to really look at your shit and to allow yourself to accept yourself and honor yourself and then choose the timeline you prefer. So this is what when people say every, every moment is a new opportunity, every moment is brand new because we really do have the opportunity to choose a life that we actually prefer. But if you are constantly, like for me, for many years, I was like like this homeless person just carrying my emotional baggage everywhere with me. <laughs> just like, here's my garbage. Oh, I'm moving into a new house, but here's all my emotional stuff I've never processed. Here's all my trauma that I'm running away from. And then I chose to start looking at it and to start integrating it. And for everyone, there are different permission slips. This is why I've also started to offer online human design readings because I have found that this is a very strong permission sh slip for many people to, to really see what is their specific soul mission in the timeline and to really understand their quote unquote weaknesses and their strengths that their soul has given them so that they have these opportunities for growth because we are not meant to be perfect. We have things that, excuse me, we have things that we are meant to grow in. And once we're aware of them, we can turn everything into a superpower. Some of my biggest things that I considered a weakness in the past have actually transformed. I've chosen to transform them into some of the things that help me to be the most relatable person. <laughs> to everyone else who's currently going through those things. You know what I mean? Like they say like your biggest heartaches that you've gone through, you can choose to make those the biggest gifts that you give the collective. So yeah, I have gone through trauma. I have experienced things that a lot of people have told me if they experienced, they probably would have killed themselves. And I chose to stay in the timeline. I chose to commit to my timeline. My alarm clock just went off because I have a human design reading soon. Um, I chose to commit to my timeline. And for me, that is the biggest way that I can transmute it. So when something, when you're going through something and you're facing something, ask yourself, how best can I show up for myself right now? What can I learn from the situation? And am I honoring myself in the situation? Our recent lunar eclipse that we had was all in Aries energy. You don't need to know about astrology to understand. I'll just explain it to you straight up. It's a lot of fire energy. And Aries energy is all about choosing yourself first, putting yourself first. A lot of us star seeds have a very hard time putting ourselves first because we know on a soul level that we are meant to be here to help the collective. I will tell you the only way, because this is something that big lesson I learned myself, the only way that you can really show up for the collective is when you put yourself first and you are honoring your boundaries and you are honoring your energy and you are just honoring what you need to do for yourself first. And then you will know very clearly, you will not be distracted, you will not be clouded by other people's energy and other people's intention. The best way that you can show up for the collective and help the collective is for you to be so grounded in yourself and so connected to your higher self that you know your mission. The only way you're going to do that is when you fully commit to the timeline and you fully commit to putting yourself first in the timeline. And then you will know, because my immediate thing when I do this is I have so much energy to give. And of course, as a starseed, I'm here to give. This is who I am. But I have spent a lot of my life 
not having the energy to give or clouding my energy by what other people want me to do. I'm not doing that anymore. And even for me, a reason why I haven't made a podcast recently is I've been spending a lot of time alone recently during this lunar eclipse. And it has been very heavy energy and things that I needed to process within myself, within my relationship with Faraday, within the collective. And it's so beautiful. And I gave myself that space to really face it. I could have been making podcasts the whole time, but that wasn't for me putting myself first. And now that I did that, I have so much energy and I've been writing down so many things I've been downloading in my meditations that I'm so excited to share with all of you. So the last thing I want to say before I pop off is I'm going to be making a lot more podcasts and something that I want to do is also invite you to join me in my podcast by um, sending me voice messages of things. There's two things you can do. One send me a voice message of something that you are grateful for in your timeline, something that you are celebrating for yourself in your timeline. At the end of my podcast, I'm going to start sharing them. Um, So just write gratefulness share and then like text that to me and then send the, the voice message and then I'll share it on the podcast. And the other one is if you have questions, you can send them to me in a voice message. And the ones that I find feel excited about, I will share at the end of the podcast. I'll put one or two questions on and I'll directly have everyone listen to your question. And then I'll reply back to it live on the podcast. Um, and you can ask questions about anything. The things that I really, really get excited about are relationships you know, anything related to what I've just talked about in this podcast, um, pretty much anything you can ask. And I'll just go through and respond to things that I'm excited about. And, and yeah, um, I think that's it. Uh, I am so excited to keep going. And I'm here to just remind you that stay in your power, stay in your pleasure, which is connection do what you need to today that connects you to yourself to each other and to nature to the earth and the more that you do this the more that you will stay clear and grounded and I invite you to do a social media and news detox for a week so limit yourself to only listening to things for just one week you can turn everything off or you can turn on only the things that you know are really helping you move in the direction of you connecting to your source energy more and notice how you feel after a week when you do this and then maybe don't turn those people back on don't turn the news back on i notice that if there's something big happening in the world i usually feel it first through my meditations and then i hear it through friends when i really need to hear things so or through family, like Faraday's mom will message us if something's going on. So it's like we we hear what we need to hear, you know. Um, and I, yeah. So I invite you, and I also invite you right now, as I leave you here with this, to take a deep breath. <sighs> you are powerful more than you realize. You are connected to source. You are here and we are doing it together. You are not alone. So many of you message me that you realize, wow, I'm not the only one who feels these things. I'm so happy that you're here. I'm here and I'm ke- we're going to keep going together and we're going to keep going deeper. And I'm excited to bring more and more of you in as a community on the podcast. So I really invite you to reach out and share something you're grateful for today. It could be something you're celebrating. Like I went into nature. I went to the beach. I reached out to friends. I listened to your podcast and then I did this thing, like whatever it is, like the more that we can celebrate us being in connection and us going after the things that are actually bringing us excitement and helping us to connect to our higher selves, the more that we're going to realize that it's basically like we're encouraging each other to keep going. And this is something I find really exciting. Okay, this is Brittany Bond signing off and I hope you guys all have an amazing day sending you so much love